Today I've got a problem from the TMUA. This is the admissions test you have to do if you want to study computer science or economics at Cambridge University, as well as maths at a bunch of other universities. How many real roots does the equation x to the 4 minus 4x cubed plus 4x squared minus 10 equal 0 have? Is it 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4? Now, of course, for solving this problem, we're going to be using the quartic formula. Just kidding. Of course, we're not going to be using the quartic formula. I have no idea what it is. You definitely do not need to memorize any formulas beyond the quadratic formula. So the cubic formula you don't need to know, nor the quadra uh, quartic. I mean, great if you do, but we don't need to use them here. Let's dive in. So how are we going to solve this? Well, I notice here that the, apart from the minus 10, this is quite nice because I can take out an x squared from that. And if I do take out an x squared, it then becomes a quadratic. So this thing here is just x squared times x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then the minus 10, if I just shove that on the other side, I get equals 10. Now, what is this? This is just x squared times x minus 2 squared equals 10. This is quite nice. I can actually sketch this. Uh, so if I ignore the 10 for the time being, if I just call this thing here f of x, if I sketch the graph of y equals f of x, this is going to be a quartic, so it's going to make like a w shape, but it's going to have roots at 0 and 2. So it's going to have a repeated root at 0, and then a repeated root here at 2. So this is my function, y equals f of x, and now what I need to do is work out where 10 is. So obviously if 10 is somewhere down here, then I'm going to have four solutions. If 10 is, however, up here, then I'm only going to have two solutions. So it's kind of dependent on this turning point here. So let's work out where that turning point is. And in order to do that, I need to differentiate f of x. So f prime of x, well, f of x is just this thing here. So that'll be 4x cubed minus 12x squared plus 8x. And we set that to zero. So taking out a factor of 4x, I'm going to get x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals zero, so four x times x minus one, x minus two equals zero. So pretty obviously we have solutions at x is zero and two, but we kind of already knew that. And so the other one is at x is one, which now thinking about it, I probably should have been able to work out using the symmetry here. But anyway, we have a turning point when x is one. What is the f of x value when x is one? Well, I get one squared times one minus one squared. So that there is just one, uh, one minus two squared, sorry, which is one. Um, so 10 is way, way up here somewhere if my y-axis is here. And so in particular, there's only going to be two solutions, um, kind of when this guy crosses here and when this guy crosses somewhere about there. So the answer here is C2. If you're someone who wants to study mathematics or a related subject at top universities in the UK, I would recommend getting in touch. The link is in the description below. Over 80% of my students end up receiving offers from either Oxford or Cambridge. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.